Hey, what is up guys? So today's video, I'm gonna be talking about sticker swapping. Uh, it's been trending, a lot of people talking about it and stuff like that. So I wanted to give my personal opinion on it. Uh, but first, I wanna show off my mail call. Uh, so this week, I actually got some more pops for my Soul Eater set, which I'm super happy to get these in. First, we have a signed Black Star by Brittany Karbaski. I've actually met her in person, but they didn't have the pops when I met her. Uh, I don't think they had any pops of her. And she does a lot of really cool characters. Like she did CL from uh, Black Butler, uh, Black Star. She did a few really other cool ones. And then we have Death the Kid, uh, which is one of my favorite characters. Uh, the voice actor for him actually uh, also voices Natsu from Fairy Tale. So I definitely want to get this signed. It just doesn't come up that often. Uh, so I'm hoping he does a signing here in Florida uh, because we get a lot of voice actors here. Now on to why you clicked on this video. Sticker swapping. Uh, so first you have special edition stickers, which are overseas. And then you have the U.S. stickers or Hot Topic or retail store stickers. So first, let me talk about the difference. What is a special edition sticker? A special edition sticker is released overseas because they don't have the rights to the actual retail stickers. Uh, so with Target, they don't have rights to sell a Target sticker, so they put a special edition sticker so they can still sell the product. Um, now, what I really wanna talk about is sticker swapping. So what some people do, uh, because it's technically the exact same pop, but just different sticker but they're valued very differently. Like this is worth $35 compared to last time I checked, I think this was like 60, 70. Um, but they'll take this sticker off of a, another pop, a cheap pop, and then put it on to the special edition. They'll take it off to resell for a higher price. I disagree with that completely. That's like plagiarism. You don't turn in an essay that you didn't really do or really get. Um, but I do understand trying to get a pop cheaper and you want it for your personal collection, you want that sticker. I completely get that. You can do that for your personal collection, but if you don't let people know that you sticker swapped it and you don't sell it for the special edition price, that's wrong, uh, in my personal opinion. Uh, the big one, in my opinion, is shared stickers with con stickers. A lot of people remove the shared sticker and put the con sticker because con sticker pops sell for a lot more. And if you guys don't know, I talked about why they sell for so much more uh, in a previous video when I was talking about the Freddy Venom. Now, I'll reiterate that just in case you didn't see it, but the reason why con stickers sell for so much more is because everybody could go to Hot Topic and wait in line and get this pop uh, if they have enough of course whereas this one you have to pay for a convention ticket you have to wait in line at Funko for a chance to be able to purchase this pop uh, and with that they sell out super quick and those people resell for a premium because they probably wait in the line a good six to eight hours Funko's lines are huge uh, now with them reopening conventions uh, the con sticker and shared sticker, the differences is going to be greater uh, than what it has been for the last few cons that have been online releases. Uh, now, if you're st sticker swapping a con sticker with a shared sticker and reselling it for that higher value, like I said, that is completely wrong. I think it is wrong uh, to do that. And it's just, it's unauthentic. Yes, it's the same pop. I get that. But as a person who is like, oh, I really want that pop from the convention. That's so cool that it came all the way from San Diego to here in Florida. I think that is so cool. And that's why I like getting con stickers is because they're from events that only a select few get to go to just because of location or budgets and stuff like that. So I think it's really cool to get con stickers because it's like a limited edition type of thing. Whereas a shared sticker is you could go and wait at that retail store or even catch it online um, and get the same pop. Yes, I know it's the same pop, but that sticker just changes it, changes the feeling for collectors. Yes, I know there are sticker collectors, 
uh, that care about the value between stickers and stuff like that. Um, I love Pops for Pops. As you can tell, I have both of these because I want both versions. Or I'm going to get another shared sticker Dobby um, uh, because I sold my other one to be able to afford this one. I'm going to get another shared sticker Dobby so I have both variants. Uh, and then get a con sticker Hero Killer and keep both because I want both variants. Uh, I think it's just cool that way, and I think it's wrong to sticker swap. That's just my opinion. Uh, thank you guys so much. Have a great day.